This is interesting and something I've never heard of. Blood flow restriction training. Joining us now is Doctor of Physical Therapy and Performance Enhancement Specialist Nicholas Rolnick to tell us more. Welcome to Bloom, Nicholas. Thank you again, Gail, for having me. Really appreciate your time and I'm looking forward to discussing BFR. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to learning more about this. What exactly is blood flow restriction training? Well, I think that you can think of BFR or blood flow restriction training as something like a cheat code that allows you to get the same benefits as if you were doing high intensity or heavy load strength training with little to no weights. Oh, I like that. So this is becoming more and more intriguing. And you might have heard me at the beginning of this segment saying that I've, I've never heard of this. Is this a new trend? Um, you know, whenever we think of trends, uh, I tend to think of things that come and go. And blood flow restriction was invented actually over 50 years ago, but now is quickly approaching mainstream as hundreds of peer reviewed publications are continuing to support its use in not only people looking to just get fit, but really in my area as a physical therapist for people that are injured and are unable to lift heavy weights. Okay, so we're looking at video right now, and this is interesting. The devices that are used for the blood uh, flow restriction, are those commonly found? I mean, is it something that you can um, order off of Amazon? You actually, believe it or not, can. I think that if you go to a medical provider, um, they're probably going to have better uh, equipment that can help with um, just increasing the safety and the precision of application. But in general, blood flow restriction training has been shown to be safe across a variety of populations with a ton of different devices. And so really it's up to the user to determine what they really want to do when they just, when they begin to do VFR. So why do uh, patients come to you? Like what are they looking to achieve uh, using this type of workout routine? Yeah, I think we, we have to appreciate that muscle is not just an aesthetic tissue, right? We work out to feel good muscle in the last couple of decades, we've really discovered that it has a strong anti-inflammatory effect. And unfortunately, when we're injured and we're not able to exert ourselves and lift moderate to heavy weights, well, our body basically goes, okay, we don't need that muscle. And as a result of that, we start to lose that muscle. But unfortunately, that then creates a, 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 an imbalance in the system and that favors, you know, impeding recovery and making just recovery from injury a more challenging experience. You know, a little bit earlier, you mentioned that, th that this kind of training has undergone peer review research, which is key. A lot of people are like, oh, I read this research. I read this research. There's just so much research out there. But when it's peer reviewed, it adds a lot of credibility to it. And so talk to me more about the science behind it and what makes it work. Yeah, I mean, in essence, you're tricking your body to thinking that it's lifting heavy, heavy loads or working under high intensity. And it does that through restriction or temporary restriction of blood flow to the exercising limb. And due to that restriction, it creates this imbalance in energy availability within the muscle. And that forces the muscle fibers that we really want to strengthen to be recruited much earlier. And as such, it becomes a very potent tool that we can use in a variety of applications to augment human performance. And that includes muscle growth, muscle strength, improving our cardiovascular capacity, and other benefits like pain relief and even bone retention. And so it's a lot, there's a ton of applications that can happen when we integrate blood flow restriction training into either a training routine or a rehab routine. We have just under uh, a minute left, so I just quickly wanted to ask you, I, I'm very much into weight training because it seems to be the only thing that moves the needle at my age when it comes to results. When you're actually training this way, does it feel like you're lifting heavy weights or does it just give you the, the results of lifting heavy weights? 
Well, you know, this blood flow restriction operates in the same way as normal resistance training. It's just with the restriction, you are accelerating that fatiguing process and happening. And so with any exercise under fatigue, it will feel regardless of the weight you use when you're nearing a lot of fatigue, it's going to feel very, very, very heavy. So that two pound bicep curl will feel like 20 pounds by the end of your set. Man, I love this. This has been so fascinating, Nicholas. Thank you so much for enlightening me and all of our Bloom viewers about BFR training. This is fascinating. Thank you. Thank you. And for more information on Nicholas, just head to our website, wfla.com bloom. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.